If there's one thing that the world has learned about Johnny Depp in the past few years, it has to be how good he is at keeping friends. Depp seems to have tens of friends who are willing to trade their lives for his. And now one of them, who also happens to be an actor, writer, director, and producer, recently revealed how British supermodel Kate Moss was so pissed at Amber Heard for mentioning her name during the trial. Who is this friend? And what did he say about Kate Moss and Amber Heard? Let's find out. Johnny Depp's longtime friend, identified as Josh Richmond, first became vocal in 2020, claiming that Aquaman star Amber Heard faked a bloody nose during her marriage with a Fantastic Beast actor. And now he is back at it, defending his friend with all the strength he has left. Richmond even takes pride in sharing conversations with other famous friends he shares with Depp, Kate Moss included. Just a few days ago, renowned actor Robert Downey Jr. celebrated Depp's victory in his defamation case against Amber with a call to his pal over FaceTime. Richmond revealed the FaceTime conversation with a group of Depp supporters during a charity livestream event for Children's Hospital Los Angeles. John, thank God it's over, Downey Jr. told his old pal Depp over FaceTime. The 59-year-old actor was stoic in a UK hotel room while his friends and staff cried and screamed around him when the verdict was announced. Even Jeff Beck, the rock star English guitarist, flipped off the television screen, Richmond explained. Richmond also said that Depp had no intention of asking his ex-girlfriend Kate Moss to testify during the trial. Yet things quickly changed once Amber took the witness stand. Amber mentioned Moss's name during her testimony. The notoriously private model was pissed and was like, F this, Richmond explains. He continued, her referring to Moss, goddaughter, was like, did Johnny Depp push you down the stairs? She was like, no. Richmond also revealed that Moss was so mad at Amber and decided to testify, not just for Depp, but for herself and her family. Following Amber's slip of the tongue, the supermodel testified by video for just three minutes, dispelling a rumor that the Dark Shadows actor had pushed her down a flight of steps when he was her boyfriend in the 1990s. The 48-year-old mother of one, speaking from her English home in Gloucestershire, told the court in Virginia that she and Depp had been in a romantic relationship from 1994 to 1998. Depp's attorney, Benjamin Chu, asked Moss if anything had happened while they were at holiday at the Golden Eye Resort in Jamaica. We were leaving the room and Johnny left the room before I did, and there had been a rainstorm. As I left the room, I slid down the stairs and I hurt my back, Moss told the court via the video feed. I screamed because I didn't know what had happened to me and I was in pain. He came running back to help me and carried me to my room and got me medical attention, she added. Moss said Deb had not pushed her down the stairs. Asked if he had pushed her in that way at any point in their relationship, the supermodel said no. He never pushed me, kicked me, or threw me down any stairs. No, Moss told the court. Amber's attorneys declined to cross-examine Moss, and she was told she was free to go. Moss was called by Depp's legal team, who appeared to celebrate when her name was mentioned by Amber during her testimony, when she revived the rumor that Depp had pushed her down a flight of stairs. The model was referenced by Amber during her time on the stand while discussing an alleged altercation between Depp and her sister, Whitney Enriquez. The Aquaman 2 actress said Whitney was near a staircase in the line of fire, trying to get Johnny to stop, which reminded her of her rumored incident between Moss and Depp. And as we've mentioned, this is not the first time Richmond is sticking out his neck for Depp. During the UK libel case Depp filed against the Sun, Richmond revealed that Amber Heard faked a bloody nose by using red nail polish. In a statement issued to the press, Richmond said, We, and certainly I knew from Johnny, that prior to the wedding, that on a night, they had an argument, Johnny recounted to me. Amber went into the bathroom and came out with a Kleenex with red on it, saying he had given her a bloody nose. But after the incident, he retrieved the Kleenex Kleenex, which he says he still has to this day. Amber had placed red nail polish on the Kleenex. Of course, this should be taken with a grain of salt as it came from one of Depp's oldest friends, who appeared to never have been too happy about his marriage with the Aquaman star. Richmond continued to malign Amber, stating that she had been manipulating Depp from the beginning of the relationship. The general view of his friends, which I shared, although we hardly knew the full details then, was that Amber Heard emotionally abused and tormented Johnny, cut him away from his real friends, and was emotionally cruel to him. He always seemed to live in fear of how she would act if he ever tried to break up 
up with her. His family, friends, and I always felt like he succumbed to Amber's demand that he marries her for this reason, among others like it. After her verdict-defining testimony in favor of Depp, Kate Moss later joined her ex-Flame in the UK concert he was scheduled to perform. Depp performed in front of a sold-out crowd alongside Jeff Beck at the Royal Albert Hall in London for the third night in a row, as he awaited the verdict. The actor had invited his ex-girlfriend Kate Moss to the concert. Footage of Depp singing and playing the guitar showed audience members cheering, we love you Johnny, and giving the Hollywood star a standing ovation. Do you think Depp and Moss may rekindle their once flourishing relationship once all this is done? Let us know in the comments below. In our upcoming videos, we'll be bringing more of such amazing content, so be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't get to miss any of them.